Okay, so right here you notice we have our main preview window. Preview window have their own context pop-up window. So you need right click and you notice right here we have a different settings. We have it lock lens position, so we don't need we cannot move it. Zoom to fit, for example, because I decided to see right here we're kind of cutting off, so I want can click on zoom to fit. Or we also can zoom in out of show elements, show image on background, cross hair, it's where currently allocated. So sometimes it may be helpful for you to know the center for your lens. Okay. Show image if we have any background image and show all elements in our scenery. We can also update our um, stop updating menu. For some reason, it's mostly for the older machines. If it's not fast enough video card or other things, when you adjust and it's take time to render, you can actually stop updating preview and update after. You also have an undo redo, which is um, allowed you to multiple steps to undo your operations or restore to what you already selected. So it's kind of very simple, very straightforward. And right here you can see I'm doing on a background. We can replace, we can add and we'll look in the other ones, uh, how we can add different background layers so we can preview. As example, I can actually selecting, and you notice when I select background layers, I want preview this, I can select not necessarily in the order it is created. So if you look, we have the background, which is a gray, so I can select how it's look on background. My gradient layer, it was on the top of uh, Photoshop. So right here, if you remember, right here is our gradient level. So I can still select this if I need it. Okay, for example, there you go. Okay, so till I'm already start looking, let's look on this main um, master controls kind of. So we have it, um, the layers control, we have a tint layer, which we can apply to the tint effect to our flares. And in some case, you can select a multiple like gradient. You remember this yellow other ones. And you can see when I start moving my flares, they change for the tint. This is actually, you can use it to create different LEDs flare effect as well. If you create a right for the make painting, if you create a gradient layer with the sunset colors, example, bluish on top and reddish on the bottom, when you create your lens flare, they will apply properly 10, uh, 10 color based on the position of your lens flare. So it's kind of very helpful um, to be sure you're kind of matching overall tint of your uh, image. Again, you can specify any different ones, like this is, will be gray color or other ones, or none. Uh, we also apply the view currently. We have it on the view as a flare. We also can create a different type of the mask or abstraction layer, background layers. So when we preview right here, I can select um, as abstraction layer and we can select the different ones like a mask was created, so it will cover. We'll look on this one in a second. Okay, so let's select this one, uh, flare. Um, I mentioned about abstractions layer, and abstraction layer, what's happening sometimes, you may have it uh, pipes, or you have it some other trees, and you want to be sure that your flare does not stay up front of the tree, a little bit more accurate. You can create a mask layer for this, and uh, apply that one as your, um, mask. For example, right here, I have the mask apply as my pipe. So you can see whatever I move it, it's kind of hiding and reappearing properly. So it is using this mask for the correct lens flare. So it's masking over. Um, again, this is important if you want more accuracy for your lens flare and not necessarily kind of remember how the abstraction of the object up front will affecting. Okay, so let's go back to set none and you can see when none is kind of appearing and I'm going back to select to the black one. 
so we can see a little bit better. Okay, this is a we set with layers. Also, you can invert if you're using different type of views. Um, on the bottom, we have a master control uh, sliders. Overall, think about this. Right here, we have our general area for our flare. We can go inside of the properties and modify individual. Or it's much easier. Sometimes if you want to decrease, you can modify overall sizes in the um, scales and other position. The one thing when scale is affecting, it's affecting individual properties of the sizes. However, some things it's one effect and we look on this. Like you see how the distribution of this work of the lights, they spread out. So this is actually going with the polygon spreads what's using and they're using this spread with it does not affect this. So it doesn't actually shrink them smaller. It just reduce each element to the smaller size. Overall brightness, same things will affect right here. And also other things, let's go right here. For example, we can go to zoom in and out. Same things that we can just click on a contact menu and do this way. Um, some properties does not necessarily work as well. Um, randomness that is actually supposed to modify by 25% settings on element random elements. So allowed you to kind of you can see right here apply and you can creating those elements. But I did not find this very useful in many times. So we can create all these different presettings. You may try it and find some interesting effect, but how I say overall with setting different randomness and apply them. Um, they did not uh, give like very nice effect, but again, it's nice to try and maybe apply it a little bit with this effect. Okay, and one small options so again right here we have it also color that we can apply overall tin color to our image. So for example, if I can go and select red, and you can see now it's become all kind of covered with red. The other things also I find a little bit um, kind of working with the factor with this plugin. When I select even colors or other things, I click OK and it's bring me back to the my Photoshop. So I need to go back to the plugin. So it's kind of a focus a little bit changing. But again, I th it's small, um, more UI work bug, I think I found in, in this one. But overall, here is our master controls. And uh, when we start working with a project, you find a little bit more familiar with this background and layers. Overall, I want to just give you overview what we have here. So you kind of feel a little bit familiar before we start working with the project.